Let's make three levels of future bass so you can know if your music might be kind of bad or pretty good. Let's start with the noob. The noob is obviously going to use some stock samples, so here are some catchy drums I made with them. This noob's chords are pretty basic, but if he wanted to make some decent future bass, he should have added this extra note to make it sound more future bassy. And here are the instruments together. And the vocals before the drop... House music. Doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Build up drums. Finally, don't forget to dance with your mouse because we just made a banger. Thank you for trying this demo. House music. House music. Thank you for trying this demo. Let's check out the pro track. One of the most important things when making future bass is the side chaining. You can give the whoop whoop sound a lot of different vibes depending on how you side chain. So if you are making future bass, play around with this to find a whoop whoop sound that fits your specific song. I personally made a more smooth side chain as you will hear right now. And these are the layers. I also added delay to one of my kicks, and don't worry, it's not like it's illegal or something. The reason I did it was because I think it sounds pretty cool, and I obviously filtered out all the low end from the delay, so yeah, there is no low end in the stereo field. Also, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Thanks! And for the vocals, I just downloaded an acapella from Splice. And to add some extra emotion and spice to the vocal, I added saturation, some pitch bend and less reverb at the vocal line that's just before the drop. Drums! Water drop. Don't forget water drop. Build up drop. For the vocal lead in the drop, I just sampled this part of the main vocal and it instantly sounded really good. There are four things that in my opinion makes a future bass track sound elenium like It's thick chords Nutty vocal chops Cozy guitars And fat drums 
To get some thick chords, you first need to make sure you don't have a regular triad. You want to add a lot of extra note voicings. I don't know the theory exactly. Just stack the chords with notes that sound good together and it will sound more thick. The second thing is, just add a lot of layers. For the guitar, you can be lazy like me and use a plugin for it. Just make sure you play around with the velocity and other settings to make it sound more realistic. If you don't have any fat drums, you can experiment with a lot of like layering, but usually too much layers just ruins the sound. So try to have a few but fat samples and it will sound the best it can. He also likes to add realistic orchestra kind of drums, so I made sure to add this snare and other similar kind of orchestra drumish things in the build up. And that's pretty much it, I think.